working with raw MIDI files inside of the MPCs has been a struggle for the community for a while now. Today, I make beats and myself are going to be reviewing this process in our respective channels. I will be covering the software side of things and I make beats will be reviewing the standalone for you guys. Let's get down to business. Oh, sorry you hear. I was just messing with my koala sampler. Hey there, thank you for joining me today. In this video, I am going to be reviewing three ways of dealing with MIDI files inside of the MPC software. And I will let you guys decide which way you are more comfortable with. iMakeBeats will be doing the same thing on his channel for the standalone users. Make sure to check him out after you watch this video. First thing first, we are going to be looking for MIDI files on the internet. MIDI files are pretty commonly used across the community. Like nowadays when you are buying a loop pack, if your loop maker is nice enough, he will also provide the MIDI files for you to be able to tweak uh, the melodies a little bit more to your liking. You need to make sure that you check the copyright information before you try to monetize with the content that you will create using these MIDI files. Let's head over to Google and look for MIDI files now. So free, MIDI, soulful, chord, progressions. Let's try that. So here we have access to a free sample. Let's grab that. Now we are going to open our sample pack. So here we have those four MIDI files and let's check the behavior. This is a brand new project. So I click on the first MIDI. You see that it created a sequence and a track. I click on the second one and it's asking me uh, to load into a new sequence. Third one, same thing, it's asking me for another new sequence. And then the fourth one, another new sequence. Here, like you can see, for every single MIDI file that you are going to drag and drop inside of the software, it's going to create a separate sequence and tracks that can be very annoying i have to deal with four sequences so in case i want to have all of these midi in the same sequence i need to go over copy copy those over uh, one at a time now let's try the second way of dealing with midi inside of the mpc software so in order to do that we would need to do an extra step so right now i am on the fourth midi sequence already i'm going to go to file export and um, export as a pattern so here i'm just going to save it in the same folder as the original MIDI files. So I am going to do the same thing for each individual MIDI. Six hours later. Okay, so now we have exported each individual MIDI file as an MPC pattern. I am going to start a brand new project to show you the different behavior. So here, as you can see, I now have some MPC patterns in addition to the MIDI files, but this is a brand new project. So let's load these one at a time. So here I'm going to switch to the, the track view. And uh, so that is the first MIDI. Click on the second one, third, fourth one. And as you can see, 
they remained on the same sequence this time and I have a separate track for each MIDI which is great however I had to convert each individual MIDI file before being able to load them like this that's a bit too much work as we can see Akai does not want us to use raw MIDI files they rather have us convert our MIDI files into MPC patterns however as you can see this process can be pretty time consuming if you know how to program you can probably find your way around converting batch MIDI files into MPC patterns I believe I've seen some projects floating around the web regarding this conversion topic but uh, I'm really hoping that Akai is going to address this issue in the upcoming releases okay so here we are going to go into the C drive and then program files Akai Pro MPC and then R patterns so in case you are using the MPC bit software it will just say here MPC bits inside instead of MPC so basically uh, this is a folder where you will have a bunch of MIDI files uh, actually those MIDI files can be read directly inside of the MPC software here I have copied my MIDI files inside that folder and I am going to be able to load them directly inside of the MPC software without having to do any conversion step and I will be able to put them on whatever track I want so here I'm going to start a brand new project and I'm just going to add the same instruments alright so here in order to um, launch the third option you need to head over to the hamburger menu and then from the menu tools and select the arpeggiator make sure you have enable selected you can latch notes and uh, from here make, make sure your note length is at 100 percent and then from here you select the action pattern and you will be able to find the, um, the me that you have saved in the directory so let's uh, play this one you want to in case you want to save um, this MIDI inside of your session you click on overdub and just need to click once and it's going to do the rest for you okay so here it is that's it for today guys let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions regarding one of those three methods that I've just covered and make sure to head over to iMakeBeats YouTube channel. He's going to cover how to deal with MIDI files inside of the standalone MPCs for you guys. Make sure you go over to his channel and show him some love. I'm going to leave a link in the description below and also somewhere up there. Take care. Peace.